Here we have the default Premiere Pro editing interface. If you ever want to get back to this, if it gets screwed up somehow, you can go to workspaces and then editing. In the top left is the actual shows um, how individual clips or graphics that you can edit in this window. In the bottom left is all of your media. And the bottom right is the actual um, timeline where you create your movie. And the top right is where you can preview your movie as you're creating it. Yours may look a little bit different in the sense that you may not have anything up here in this source window. Um, and by the way, you got to make sure you clip, click on this tab. Um, because I already got this up here because I've been messing with it some. And the way you get something into the source window is you go down here and search your media and you can just drag it up there or double click on it. So for example, this is a picture. So now if I want to, um, so I've got, I can edit my media up here. I know all my media are down here. Now if I want to get them on the timeline, it's just a matter of dragging. Now this timeline I've already created. In fact, I'll show you, I'll delete it. Uh, so I just deleted the timeline. So what you will probably see is something like this. But what I do is I start by taking some media and I just drag it over there. And it creates this timeline and it shows a little timeline with this little icon over in my media. So now I can edit stuff on this in the sequence. And so it's already got this picture in here. And so you see it's actually playing, but it's just playing, showing this one graphic. And I can even make the graphic bigger or smaller, but you'll see about editing later. So now let's say I take another picture and I drag it next to the first picture. So now if I play my movie, I move back the little playhead, I look up here in the preview, it plays for a couple seconds, and then it switches to the other graphic. Um, one reason, by the way, that this, this graphic uh, looks too big up here, yeah, like it, you notice that the entire picture is not in here, is because I've got it at 100%. And the video file is not big enough to show in this window. So um, I could actually make the window bigger. But an easier thing to do is to go down here and click on Fit. So it just makes it the size that it will fit inside the window. All right, so that's how we actually make a video. We can also put a video file on there. This is going to look weird because I remember it's real, it's real small. But so I can go, I'm going to move the timeline and then I can see the graphic file and then the video comes after. It's a little tiny video, but you can hear the audio and see the audio monitor over here. And the reason it's so tiny is because the source file was from a... a um, cell phone and extra small had to be sent over email from India and stuff but there is a way for me to make it bigger even though it will get the, it will get distorted but you'll learn more about changing the size of the frame in the um, Ken Burns effect so that's what the basic windows are one last thing I want to mention is as before even though there's these four quadrants or frames or whatever you want to call them there are also these um, tabs with each one and you can move all these around and reset it if you want but that's kind of up to you uh, and these tabs so it's kind of confusing sometimes because you don't realize you're on a tab or you haven't selected something correctly uh, but the tab up here and where you have the source you might uh, often use uh, effect controls and we'll use that in the Ken Burns effect later but the other tabs I don't use too much and then down below I might use this tab for effects uh, down here where normally it just shows the media and that's something that you can use for especially with like video transitions and there's a tutorial on how to add video transitions uh, but that's pretty much the basic editing interface in Premiere Pro